Let's you go bet. to former NYPD <coughs> detective Thomas Ruskin has handled situations like this before. And Tom, what do you make of, of the latest information that's coming out? Well, it, it's exactly what's been said all along. Law enforcement is going to put the pieces of the puzzle together. They are going to slowly and meticulously go through not only the forensic evidence, the bomb, the actual remnants of the bomb in a crime scene type of way and give it to ATF to put it together because that's what those guys do and that's what those guys do well. And then what they're going to do is look at the surveillance cameras. Now we know from the Lord and Taylor, which is right there on Boylston Street, they have pretty good surveillance film that they're now going through and they may have the person of interest that may have placed the bombs. Chances are those cameras are of very high quality, probably of a newer brand, and probably giving police and law enforcement a very good eyes view on who put the bombs down and maybe even a facial shot of who did it. Well, and Tom, is this a situation where typically you'd see that sort of video evidence used to initially identify a person and then the forensic evidence used to make a sort of more definitive conclusion about whether they were involved or not? Is that how that typically works? Well, it, it can work, you know, many different ways. If you bring the person in and you start questioning them, they may confess and they may tell you why they did it. Detectives are very, very good and FBI agents are excellent at putting someone in a room and starting to talk to them and they talk to them the way we're talking right now you know we understand you did it there must be a reason why you did it and the person starts to talk okay Tom Ruskin stay with us I want to turn to John